Chico's Garage and I'm doing a different style video today because it's dark outside and it's not very nice and we don't really have anything interesting to do with our cars. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison of what car we would buy under different price ranges. So we'll do like a $5,000 budget and we'll each pick three cars and kind of see if we might have the same car, might have different ones. Do 5000 10000 20000 and then 50000 100000 a million. For the last three, we'll pick one car and those can be new. The idea with like the first three amounts is that we pick used cars. So first thing we're going to do is three cars you would buy for under $5,000. So I'm going to start first and tell you my three. So first one would be a uh, old, probably 2003 Volkswagen Golf. TDI with about 200,000 K. You probably get one for under five. Yeah, no, but that's be about right. Second would be a three series, a BMW three series E46, preferably maybe E36. Definitely would prefer an E46, but if I couldn't find one, I could settle for an E36. Probably looking the same thing around 200,000 K. You might get a little under like 170. And then third choice would be a Subaru Impreza with Probably because the Subaru would probably be pushing like 250, maybe low 200s if you're lucky. But obviously, all of them have to be manual. So, those would definitely be the three cars I would choose for under $5,000. So, kind of funny. I also would go with an Impreza, see what I can find price range. I like, like the like Blah Buy Impreza RS. I think those are cool. Also, E46. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that. You probably didn't go with the Golf, though, did you? No. no didn't, he, he doesn't like Golf. Didn't, I don't like the Golf so much. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, so yeah, if I could get a E46, that's what I'd go with. And then I have to stick with my Honda Roots. And I'd oh. go with the Civic. Civic, yeah. Definitely wouldn't go with the Civic. Definitely take a Golf over a Civic. No, I'd take the Civic. Okay, now we're going to do three under 10,000. So, obviously, my first pick is going to be WRX. Because that's what oh, I bought. No kidding. That's what I bought when my budget was around 10k. Yeah, makes sense. Obviously, that's my first pick. Makes sense. Then second pick, I would go with the 350Z. Okay. Because I just I think it'd be a really fun car. Like in Canada, winters wouldn't be so amazing, but if you get some like good studded tires, like the M4, winter driven, yeah. it's only good tires. You can drive anything in the winter if you have good tires. Yeah. And then last one would be a Lexus IS 350. So like, Lexus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like, I just think they have really nice body lines, nice interior. They're decently fast. So my car is under ten thousand k. I was gonna say the Subaru, but I know he was gonna say Subaru, so I thought out of the box. First one would be a three thirty five i. It's about one hundred fifty thousand k. They're fast. Uh, they look pretty. Obviously, e ninety two, and they look pretty sick. So definitely one car. I might I, in the spring. If depending on if the Land Rover makes it to the fall, definitely would consider buying one. Next thing would be a mini JCW oh. because I think those are pretty sick and they're really cheap. You can get a manual, like a decent one, with like 100,000 K for easily under 10 grand. And then third one I was gonna get was oh I forget what was the third one? 335i mini and God I forget I forgot what was gonna, the last one was gonna be. So the third car I would buy for under 10,000 K would be an Audi A4 wagon because those are pretty clean. I have a friend that actually has a very, really clean one and they're actually, you don't think they're very fast because they only have like 250 horsepower, but his goes, and I don't know if it's, I don't think it's tuned, I'm pretty sure it's thought, and it goes pretty good and you could put a box on it and put on some nice wheels and it would look really good. So Can you get a decent one for under 10 K? Oh yeah, you get a decent one for under 10 K for sure. Yeah, so no, that would definitely be my, my third one. It'd be about 2004. Not sure what the, no, don't know too much about Audi, it's not sure what the model name is called. Maybe like 2004, 2006 kind of Audi A4 wagon. Definitely do my third one. So, last of the used section, I don't know why I'm holding a knife, but last of the used section, uh, we're going to start with under 20,000 K used. So, my three is, first one would be E92 M3 with about, it would have, I've seen them on Kijiji for around 23 grand for about, with about 100,000 K. So you, you could get one with, which would be, that would probably be definitely my number one pick. Next would be a Ford Focus ST, because I th I've seen a couple of really sick ones, and you can get them for like 50,000 K for like 15 grand, so that, that'd be a really good deal. And then last one, oh right, Tacoma. Definitely would be a, like a 2008 Tacoma, because just Tacomas are OGs. Okay, so my first pick would be an E46 M3, so I'd get a little bit cleaner, a little bit lower kilometers. Okay. And I'd go with that. Okay. And then second pick would be a Honda S2000. Because I think that would be a really fun car to have. 
high revving, really fun. Okay. And then last one is I think I would go with a FDRX7. You can find them for under 20. Maybe like have slightly more kilometers and be a bit more of a project. Yeah. But it's going to be a really fun car to have. Okay. 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 Next, we're going to do uh, used or brand new cars. Just one car from each category. Under fifty thousand, under hundred thousand, and under a million. All right. So my first one like slightly breaks the rules because they don't make it new for like twenty nineteen, but it's a high car STI. Of course. Because that's kind of like kind of why I made my car that's that okay. color. Did you, have you guys seen this kid's car? He drives a Subaru, and it's the exact same color. So. I kind of got to pick that one, and then for under 100, I think I'd go with the TTRS. Okay, definitely, definitely, okay. So. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't, didn't expect that. Yeah, so I think I'd go with that, and then for under a million, I'd have to go with the GT2 RS. Yeah, it's a solid choice. Okay, for me, under 50 would have to be Golf R, because I've seen some of those driving around, and they look really good. Yep. Under a hundred would have to be the M4 because I just love my dad's car and it's just an amazing car to drive. And then under a million would have to be the Adventador SVJ. I know no one has one yet and I don't know if you can even technically buy one, but I think they're the sickest cars ever. So I hope you guys like this kind of video. I know it's not as action packed as our usual it's a videos. Little different. Maybe hopefully you guys will be getting a little Mexico action after this because it looks like it's snowing outside and it's getting colder so should stick to the road. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.